Hey everyone, Betty Junod here from Heroku. And Heroku is the AI platform as a service that makes the building and running of applications in the cloud as easy and seamless as possible. Giving your developers time back to focus on what matters, the code, and bringing their application to life, and also streamlining your platform engineering and operations. Really excited to be in Atlanta next week with over 10,000 of our cloud native friends. And Heroku is a proud sponsor of this conference and supporter of this community and the technologies that come out from the open source projects. Make sure to stop by our booth number 305. We are the ones in purple and we have a lot of goodies planned for you. From live uh, demos of some of our latest technology, more developer tooling, um, the integration of AI directly into the workflow, and also lots of fun games so that you have a chance to win some really cool prizes. Swing by the Project Pavilion to learn more about Cloud Native Build Packs, a project that Heroku has been involved for a very long time and we feel is very important to the developer lifecycle. And don't miss this great new piece from LearnCube called Kubernetes World, Finding Your Path. It's something that we've partnered with that or with LearnCube on, and it's really about helping new folks navigate their cloud native journey by leaning on the experience of those who've paved the path before. Really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thanks. OVH Cloud has been around since 1999, started in France and then expanded uh, geographically around the globe. I'm the general manager of OVH Cloud US. We're a wholly owned subsidiary, uh, and we've been operating out of the US since 2017. Uh, but both companies are global companies. So OVH Cloud, without OVH Cloud US, serves global customers, except they don't handle customers in the US, and that's to protect their European and Canadian and other customers from the Cloud Act and the Patriot Act. My company, OVH Cloud US, we deliver to U.S. customers, but we also service customers all around the world, including anyone who wants services in our U.S. data centers. And we can deliver OVH cloud services in all of our global data centers. So we're uh, two global companies, you know, working together as one, one team and one brand very focused on being the best cloud provider. And we're a hybrid cloud provider. So whereas most cloud providers focus either on uh, public cloud, or some are private cloud or VMware or Nutanix resellers, or uh, we do it all. So we deliver our customers the full hybrid cloud experience so they can really mix and match uh, the right tools for the right jobs. Another thing that was very visionary by our founder, Octav Klava, is we also own and operate our own, uh, right now, over 100 terabit per second fiber network. So we offer a technology called VRAC, which is a layer two private network that allows our customers to connect all of their OVH cloud services in any OVH cloud data centers all around the world. And we don't charge for ingress or egress bandwidth on any of our services. So, you know, uh, those things I think really set us apart. Uh, and, and then we own and operate our global uh, set of data centers. And we've got 44 data centers across four continents. U.S., Canada, U.K., several in Europe, India, Singapore, and Australia. So uh, OVH Cloud is everywhere our customers are, uh, and we're ready to support them, again, across all of their uh, cloud needs. RLA Vash, who's very well known in the Kubernetes uh, community, she's giving uh, three different talks uh, over the you know few days. So please check her out in your schedule. And she's also written a book on Kubernetes and we're giving away a hundred free signed copies. So come see us at the booth for that. Uh, make sure you get there early and you can find us at booth 1043. And I look forward to seeing everyone there. Hey there, I'm Tim Davis, technical product marketing at Spacelift. And here at Spacelift, we are crazy about infrastructure, whether you're deploying it, destroying it, managing it, putting guardrails around it, we're here for it. And here at Spacelift, we also offer two completely different deployment models. Your traditional IAC deployment model, which comes with everything you would expect from an IAC management tool, including policy as code, drift detection, and many other features. And we also have a new model called Spacelift Intent. 
Now, this is AI-driven, where we give you an MCP server, and you connect that to the LLM you already use and start managing infrastructure with natural language, asking it what you have deployed, telling it that you need to build you know, EC2 instances or S3 buckets or other types of infrastructure, regardless of what cloud you're going to connect it to. You're building infrastructure at the speed of natural language instead of having to use all of your IAC pipelines and everything that can take some time, which don't get me wrong, that is fantastic for your production mission critical workloads. But if you're just rapid prototyping, spinning up some tests or troubleshooting, you want to do that quickly. And we can do that and also allow you to have policy enforcement and other guardrails to enable the speed that you really need without having to go through all of the hoops and stuff that you have with the IAC. And with intent, we're also not generating any code. So <clears throat> with that, you have the IAC model and the intent model, and we're more than happy to talk to you about this at our booth at reInvent. That's booth number 541. Be sure to come check us out. Also check us out at spacelift.io. And who knows, if you stop by, maybe we have some cool stuff to give away for you.